Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a meal prep day and I thought I would bring you along with me. Um, I really like meal prepping uh, once a week because sometimes I'm really tired after work and I don't feel like cooking and um, it's nice to have this stuff already done for me and it keeps me accountable to eat healthy. So I'll show you how I meal prep. So the first thing I like to do is prep all my greens. So this week I'm having kale and I really like kale because it keeps really well in the fridge. It doesn't get slimy like some other greens. And a tip for digesting kale is to massage your kale. It makes it way easier to digest. So next I like to wash all my veggies and get my chopping area ready. Now everyone's favorite part of meal prepping, chopping the veggies. I'm just kidding, this is the worst part, but I just like to get it done all at once. So I'm going to make a container of chopped carrots and celery. I just like to have that in the fridge. It's a good snack, keeps really well. And then I'm going to chop all my veggies for my salad and for my cooked dish. And a tip is to have a compost bin next to you as you do this, then you can clean your mess as you go. And I also wanted to mention that it is worth investing in a good knife. Ever since I bought a good quality knife, I've really enjoyed meal prepping a lot more. And I also cut myself a lot less. <laughs> oh, and I'm also cutting up some tofu. All right, so these are all the veggies that we prepped and now they're all ready to get used. I'm going to drain and rinse this can of beans for my salad. So I like to assemble my salad in these two containers that will last me about four days between the two containers. And then I just add all of my veggies except for the mushrooms and tofu. And I just add as much as I can fit and the leftover veggies I just put in a separate container. And then I also add some beans and some sunflower seeds. So these are just the extra veggies that didn't fit in the salad, but I can add them to my cooked dish throughout the week. Okay, so now I'm preheating my oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then to my blender I'm adding some pitted dates, some vanilla, some water, oats, some shredded coconut, some cinnamon, and some chopped pumpkin seeds and walnuts. So if you haven't guessed what I'm making yet, I'm making homemade granola and I really don't like buying granola from the grocery store. It always has a ton of added sugar and oils and it's super easy to make at home. So I'm just going to spread it onto a baking sheet and just make sure that it's fairly flat and spread out. You should let that bake for 20 minutes. So while the granola is baking, I'm going to saute some garlic along with the mushrooms and onions in one pan and then the tofu in the other. So it's really important that you always cook your mushrooms because raw mushrooms have a carcinogen in them called agaritin. But as soon as you cook them, that carcinogen is cooked off so they are actually very healthy but only when they are cooked. So once my mushrooms are cooked to my liking then I'm just going to add some frozen veggies to the mix. And here I am just combining the crispy tofu with the veggies. So I also decided to make some whole grains to go with my veggies and I'm just going to make that in the Instant Pot. It's really quick. Mm -hmm. 
So the granola has been cooking for 20 minutes and now I'm just stirring it around so it cooks evenly and then I'm going to put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. This is a salad dressing that I have been loving making lately. It has a base of almond butter and balsamic vinegar. And I've talked about the five components of the perfect salad dressing. You need a fat, sugar, flavor, acid, and a liquid. And now I'm just making an Asian ginger sauce to put on my tofu veggie dish and I'm kind of just making it up as I go but it turned out to be really good. And the granola is nice and golden brown and I just finish it off with some raisins. And the rice quinoa blend is also done. So this is everything that I meal prepped today. And it did take me over two hours, but it will last me at least four days. I don't portion anything out, it just depends on how hungry I am. And this is not everything that I'm going to eat. I will also eat unlimited fruit, but you don't need to prep fruit, which is nice. All right guys, so that sums up the video. If you enjoyed any of this kind of content, then please subscribe to my channel. I will make more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, bye.